Albania allow you 24 hours um, after checkout to leave, so we took advantage of that yesterday. Um, we checked out yesterday morning, uh, which was quite a smooth process, other than the port police decided to uh, take a wander, so we had to wait for them to come back, but it was quite an easy process, really. And the wind's picked up to about 13 knots, between 12 and 13 knots. So we're under full sail and we're doing about five knots. The sea's just calmed down a little bit actually, so uh, makes it a little bit easier. The headland is in sight, but it is another 20 miles away, so... There we are, all legal again. So we've just come ashore, we are all checked into Montenegro and we went to the tourism office in Bar, which is right at the front of the harbour, so where the customs and things are, not far from there. And we paid our tourist tax, we went in to inquire, we've got our receipt, which is brilliant. Really nice looking bars, restaurants, and it's not too expensive. Our ice cream, that ice cream, it's only a little, a little blob, 80 cents, which is pretty good actually. In the UK you'd pay a heck of a lot more for an ice cream. So we've come all the way to Montenegro to taste the delights of their restaurants. And what are you eating? Donuts. We're just leaving the anchorage, um, been here for a couple of days now and uh, we got sails out actually straight away. So we took the anchor up on the engine and then switched the engine off and we sailed out the out of the bay. And we're, we're hoping for about 12 knots of wind but whether we'll get that or not is anybody's guess. We've been going an hour and a quarter, how far have we got? About a mile. <laughs> no, we haven't done 3.2 nautical miles. We don't feel as if we've gone very fast. 1.5 of them was in the wrong direction, but yeah, yeah we, we're tacking away at the minute. The wind's just picked up actually. We've got now, I think, eight knots. Bit more. We've got eight. Oh, we've got nine now. We're just plodding along. We've got two lines out, fishing lines out. We've got feathers on one, well, not feathers, yeah. kind of feathers on one. Um, and I've got a spinner on the other, and we've had nothing. <laughs> Bream. Did catch a bream this morning? In the bay. Yeah, in the bay. It's only about... No, it wasn't. Keep going, keep going, keep going. No, he's not. Oh, all right. He's for tea anyway. There for midnight. This <laughs> rate. Yeah, we're all right. Actually. We, we've got about eight, nine knots of wind, and we're on a close, close haul. I mean, we've got all day to get there. So we've done nine and a half miles. We have. We're only supposed to be doing eight. <laughs> but we're tacking, and you know, at the end of the day, we're not using the engine. Which is a bit, a bit shaky because we're uh, doing. Bit more speed, we're doing about five knots now, but we've just seen this little church on top of a hillside. Unbelievable! I'm sure it's obviously well known, looks like a tourist attraction. How amazing is that? So, we're in Montenegro still. We are in a town called Budva, which is very big, quite a big, expansive town. Nice seafront, and we have just paid our tourist tax. So, what do we pay? We paid one euro a day each, which we picked five days, so it was ten euros for the two of us. That's fine, no problem at all, we can anchor in now for five days. We're going to go to the old town now, to have a look around. Yeah. So 
horrendous citadel. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm getting a breeze. It is, it's really hot, very still. What time is it? Oh yeah, the church bells just sounded at 12 o'clock. eating. hoping that we were going to get some wind tomorrow um, from a southerly direction which would have helped us up to Couture but unfortunately looking at it this morning it's all gone again so we've decided that today we're going to move up to Couture um, and we tend to... Challenges to keep it in the wind. Yeah but it does say it's going to die off completely by the time we get there but... So we're managing to sail albeit tacking all the way in about eight knots of wind. We've done eight miles in three hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's... well for when we arrive. So that's our course so far, or our track so far. And then um, I guess it's going to continue to be like that. I'm not quite sure what this structure is, but they seem to have uh, built onto it. So these are the submarine tunnels that we were told about. We nearly missed them actually. Um, I'll have to try and find some history on them because I've got no idea what they're all about. Gorgeous scenery, very green. And over this side, you'll probably see a bit later, very mountainous. We're just coming into the uh, bottom of the bay now, which is, um, what's it called? Tivia. Loving the music. Well, this is Porto Montenegro. It's only about a mile away from where we actually were anchored. But the amount of super yachts in here is pretty unbelievable. Well, we're in Porto Montenegro. We're going to sort out our tourist tax and go for a walk. We haven't had a walk for a couple of days, have we? No. It's hot. quite nice. We've, we've anchored just off the marina, which is on the south side. I'll show you on the way back. Yeah. But um, very hot today. Very. It's the posh Porto Montenegro marina. It's very hot. I know. It's rather expensive. We'll see if we can find some prices of drinks and things. Um, but this is halfway up the mountain. The views are just spectacular, absolutely amazing. Hey, Mo. 
I didn't know if I caught you on the camera. Oh, I couldn't see. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, yeah. Did you see the, the canyon? Yeah, I know. And Pretty the, impressive. The river was amazing. Wow. I don't know if I caught much of that on video, but I tried. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Where are we heading? <laughs> we are heading to a monastery, which is up that big cliff face somehow. <laughs> what? The rain the monk did it. <laughs> Good. I'm going to take him to Chisholm. Someone must this. have dug that. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, then why not do it now? Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.